Hey guys, and welcome back to Homes on Wheels. If you're new to the channel, my name is Brandon and we tour mobile homes. Today we got a beautiful home. We're out in Pinson, Alabama at the home place again, taking a look at a beautiful Deer Valley model called the Zamira. Now, in my opinion, this is a lot of bang for the buck. Y'all be sure to let us know what you think about this home in the comments below. And if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and take the time to do so. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get inside and take a look around. Right away, you can tell that this is an open concept home and it is a stunner as mentioned. Now they do have this one partially staged. They have not had time to finish the trim, but that's okay. We're still gonna get the gist of it. It's quite a large living room. As you can see, it has three large windows over there. This home does have Croft windows and Croft has been in business for over hundred years. As far as good windows, they kind of set the staple as being the best. If you look over here, you've got a massive fireplace. It is an electric unit with a big mantle right there above it. Let's take a look behind this picture right here and I'll show y'all why. It is set up for your TV to be right up there. So you've got your cable connect as well as a wall socket to be able to plug your TV in without having to worry about your wires hanging down around the edge of the mantle and being quite unsightly. As you can see, it does have can lights above the fireplace, as well as the heating and air conditioning in this home is in the ceiling, not in the floor. This home does have beautiful laminate flooring throughout. And there is carpet in the bedrooms because I know some people say they don't like their feet to be cold when they get into the bedrooms. Let's go ahead and head into the kitchen. This home does have a massive island Right now it has three stools set up, depending on the size stool you put in there. You may actually be able to fit four. This is real wood that you see down here on the cabinet. And it's really cool because it really favors barn wood. I know that's kind of all the rage right now is the barn wood look in most homes. Nice big countertop. I mean, that thing is huge. <laughs> this home does sport stainless steel appliances from Frigid Air. Nice, big, big cabinets. And I would say that these cabinets over here would be set up for pantry use, but in all actuality, you've actually got a nice sized pantry right here in the corner. And unless you're just a severe hoarder, you've got all the room you need in there to be able to put everything you want. <laughs> I know a lot of people stocked up during COVID and maybe you would need that extra space, but I don't think that we would. Lots and lots of cabinets throughout this home. Instead of the sink being in the island here at this home, it's actually to the side where the window is, which I know a lot of people like because they can actually do dishes or cook and look out the window all at once, and the window does open. I know that's a huge deal for most. Nice tile backsplash too. It is a double basin sink. but the cabinet space that's in this island is quite insane to me. I can't imagine what all you would have to fill this stuff up unless you were a baker or a chef. As you can see, these are about 20 inches deep and they do have the really nice shut. Sorry, I get amused by that. Every time I come in one of these homes, I have to shut one of the drawers with a soft shut. Now you do have a good sized dining room right here to the side with two large windows, which is nice. Plenty of room for if you even wanted a bigger table, I don't think that it would be a problem. Now, as we make our way down the hallway, the first thing that you come to on the right, let's see if the lights are on in here. Nope, the fan works though, is a nice guest bathroom. There again, I apologize for having to use my phone as lighting, but that's just kind of part of it whenever you get into these homes that are just getting set up. It does have a nice big single piece shower unit inside of it that y'all can see. There's your toilet and a very nice sink. They do change the cabinet style in the bathrooms to look more like marble than that barn wood that's in the kitchen. Now on the end of the home is your laundry room and this is a good size laundry room. 
Over here, you got a place for your washer and your dryer. On this side, you've got a nice workstation. This is going to be your utility closet and access to your hot water heater. And right here in this corner, you've actually got room for a deep freeze. This home does have the door on the end of the home. So that makes it where if you're ever going to add a garage or a carport onto the end of your house, you could walk right into here and use this laundry room as a mud room as well. Now we're going to take a look in the first guest bedroom and this is a good size bedroom. And yes, it is finished sheetrock throughout with large crown molding and pretty high ceilings. The ceilings in this home are pretty high. Got a nice size closet. This room is carpeted as mentioned. Let's go ahead and take a walk around the corner and walk into the second guest bedroom. This one may be a bit wider. There again, we'll have the floor plan that will pop up at the beginning of the video. So if you need any of the dimensions, be sure to go back and hit pause on that particular part where you can get the dimension for each room. Now, without any further ado, though, let's go ahead and go in here and take a look at the master suite. And this is always a favorite. Nice, big bedroom, as you can see. This room is set up for your bed to be against this wall over here or this one because of the windows being put together. I know a lot of people like the windows to be separated. So you have more options, but I think that it actually flows better if your bed was over here on this side. As you can see, they're still setting stuff up, so there is stuff throughout in here. Now this is a pretty impressive bathroom, I will tell you all that. As you walk in, the very first thing that you're going to notate is the massive tub that's right there when you first walk in. As well as that barn wood look on the wall, and that is real wood, for those of you that may be curious. That's real wood. Those windows are really nice and let in some nice natural light. This tub has a nice slope back to it. Looks like it's very comfortable. It does have the copper fixtures. And then over here on this side is where your sinks are. You got a his and hers big cabinet. And the countertop in here is the same as in the guest. Two big mirrors. And here's a closet over here to this side. So this is the master bedroom's closet. You've got one here. And you've got one right here. This one over here is much larger than the other one. And right here is your toilet closet. Or as some people call it, the water closet. We'll turn right around and take a look at the big tiled shower. Nice rain head shower head. And it does have a removable shower head and a bench. So this is really, really nice. Now that we've walked through the entire home though, let's go in here and talk about pricing. Now please keep in mind because COVID pricing is changing daily. So the pricing that I'm about to show you is at the time of filming, it is subject to change at any point. And we will, uh, we will leave the contact info for the home place in the comments below. Right here, you can see that the home place discounted price is $147,995. That's delivered, set up, and central air. So I think that's a fantastic price. If y'all like this home, be sure to follow us. And right up here in the top right corner is going to be our next home tour. So let's go take a look.